both Zeke and I have felt through conversations that if we ever decided to sell, what a great thing for Next Adventure because Scapoose Bay is a location that even Next Adventure doesn't have in Portland. And it's a spot with eagles and great blue heron and river otter and beaver that I can't duplicate either. I just happen to be fortunate enough to be able to start a company on this bay. So we really both felt that the marriage would be great, not only for his businesses down in Portland to have a location to come to, but to also have this location to do the stuff that they do down in Portland. So it was a perfect marriage. I, I, I was very happy with the whole thing, and I think they are too. It's nice to be able to see them sort of uh, pick up where we decided to leave off and add to it because they're very talented people. They've got a great program and great employees and it was just add on top of, of what we had started. They're now able to double and, and duplicate and continue on. And they're very creative about what they want to do with Next Adventure here at Scapoose Bay as well. So I'm very happy that it went the way it did. Uh, he, both Deke and Brian are, are excellent guys. So. It's a cool thing. Next Adventures Paddle Fest at Scapoose Bay. First time ever. Every major manufacturer represented here. Uh, we've dreamed of doing this out here at the bay um, since Scapoose Bay Kayaking's inception back in 2001. Gathering kayakers here to this beautiful site and bringing the national reps here to expose local paddlers to the new equipment, the new techniques, the, the new stuff to go out and have fun. And a little food and, uh, you know, a nice little beer garden. That doesn't hurt as well. We designed this event. We've been capitalizing kind of on our popularity and our growth with Summer Splash and wanted to, you know, kick off our new season with the fact that we in Scapoose Bay kayaking are part of a good family now and really wanted to have an event that was more than just a demo. We wanted to create something where we could start building the paddlers. It's a community that we're constantly having to reinvest in as a sport, it's while it's you know decently ancient, at the same time, it's one of those things that like needs reinvigoration and things like that. So following kind of our tenets of Outfit and Formic Site, designed our entire program around that of our first day, you know, giving people the information that they need, giving them the ability to pick a boat, doing a choose your paddle, how to choose a boat. We created these booklets of choosing your next adventure from all those choosing your next adventure books that we all read as kids to make it organically us but at the same time give as much information as we could tomorrow kind of following more of our informed tenant we're going to be doing a lot more of your basic paddling classes your trips your paddling with your family community paddling kind of along the lines of what is it that next step so really beginning at ground zero on day one day two starting to build you into what is it going to take to allow you to then on day three our Excite Day, go on those trips, start doing all those skills you have, start learning some advanced skills with some incredible people, community partners like Cindy Shear um, of Confluence, Dan Hagigi, just an awesome sea kayaker and stand-up paddleboarder. Not just selling a boat, but planting the seed of the sport and planting the tradition behind it and planting the experiences that go with it so that we are becoming a community together. The opportunity to have events here has always been something that we've done as well. But when we talked about last year of the transaction of sale, we all said, boy, it'd be fun to have a big blowout party here someday, maybe next summer. And so now it's come to fruition, which I like. And they've just added on to it to make it even greater than what I thought it would be with music and food and all the things that are going to happen. And I think we're going to see that this is probably the start of something that will happen every year from now on and it'll only get bigger and better and stuff too. It's a perfect idea to do. It gives all of the vendors an opportunity to uh, come here and show the things that they represent and be able to demo and sample all the different products that they have and it's all about Next Adventure and the opportunity to get up through them in order to have it. So it's a great, it's a great thing. Boy, Next Adventure has been uh, absolutely awesome. For us as a small kayaking shop, starting back in 2001, uh, it's seen great growth and we're very proud of uh, our founders, Steve and Bonnie Gibbons, and the exposure that the Bay has gotten due to their efforts. And slowly, year by year, the paddling community out here has grown. Now we've got the resources of Next Adventure. Huge buying power, huge inventory, huge resources, but we're still a small paddling shop. We just get 
more resources to do what we've already done well, and that is to expose people to the paddling sport. It's awesome. I mean, not, nothing huge, just a little bit more across the board. I understand we have music coming in tomorrow, uh, which is going to be good. There's food and breakfast and food courts over there that's nice. On an hourly basis, there's different types of events, both in lectures and also in demonstrations that are going on. Each individual vendor, to my understanding, has got all kinds of boats that you can try and see which ones you like from one to the other to find the right ones for you. If you've never paddled before, it's a perfect location to come to and learn about kayaking. And if you have paddled before, there's things here that you don't get a chance to see all at one spot that um, are here for the weekend for people that are already experienced paddlers. So it's perfect, it really is, it's the perfect thing. Oh my gosh, even with a rainy day on Friday the 13th, we've had a great turnout today. We are expecting the hordes to swarm us over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the forecast is wonderful. We're looking at uh, Father's Day on Sunday to be the best day. But what a better way to spend a, a day with your father than down on the water uh, playing out in some kayaks. Internet and social media response over the last several weeks has been enormous, even more so than our previous event just two weeks ago. So we're prepared. We're ready to see him. I'm really proud to be able to be invited back here to be able to be with all these people again and, and thank Deacon Brian and Next Adventure for being able to do that. Both my wife Bonnie and I are real proud of what we did, but through watching them on Facebook and commercials and hearing it from all of our friends, um, I'm real proud of what they're doing and, and hope that they continue to keep going. It's a great thing and I'm real, real happy with the way it's going.